Hi guys and welcome back and today we get on with the build of the Panther Type G. So this is a buddy build I'm doing with Steve Mottram and the link to Steve's channel will appear below and also in the end credits because I'm very smart and I've figured out how to do that. And uh, Steve's already beavering away on all his aftermarkets and as of only a little while ago had uh, put the frural metal tracks together so he's stolen a march on me but I hope to catch up very quickly. So I'm building two of these bad boys and the first one is literally exactly straight out of the box just following the instructions to the letter of the law not adding anything uh, to the kit at all and will be used as effectively a control group or the control group of one to measure how much difference there is between the second one that I build that will be loaded up with as much aftermarket as I can find. So now we'll do a quick unboxing, flick through the instructions and some close-up shots of the plastic. Now I won't talk you through the instructions, you can see uh, clearly just as well as I can describe it, but what I will say is if you are new to the hobby or coming back to the hobby after a spell and are looking for a kit that is a absolute blast to build and is very easy to follow then this is the one like all Tamiya kits the instructions are really clear not too many parts in any one stage and it just fits together brilliantly so absolutely commend this if you're keen to try your hand at a tank for the first time or the first time in a long while give this a go because it was brilliant And just as with the instructions, there's no great point me talking you through the plastic. Uh, it is all really crisp. The detail is fantastic. I don't think there was any flash at all. Uh, and you guys will probably all know these bits better than I do. I'll leave you with just a little bit of music while you uh, see the plastic. Needless to say, there was a bunch of wheels in this, being a panther, which isn't my favourite thing, but uh, we coped as it turned out. They uh, look pretty good. Only other thing I really wanted to highlight was the decals. And you hear often that people will uh, be really critical of the Tamiya decals. Now I've not encountered that myself and uh, tried to get a, a good look here to see how pronounced the carrier film was. It all looks pretty thin to me. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how they actually go down, but they look quite good at this point. So 
So I'm with the build, and right from the get-go, I have to say there was nothing tricky about this build. I just followed it step by step, followed the instructions to the letter of the law, and uh, the kit literally fell together. So what I've got coming now is just a series of still pictures. First one will be a picture of stage one, and then the parts required of stage one, and then the finished look of stage one, and then on to stage two, and so on and so on, right throughout. So I don't think there's any reason for me to come back and talk to you during the construction. I think it's all pretty straightforward. Uh, you'll see how easily the pieces fit together. Uh, a lot of it's not actually glued when we get to the final reveal because uh, I want to paint it, but I wanted it to be largely put together so I could do direct comparison with the second one uh, with all the PE at the various stages. So sit back and enjoy the music and uh, enjoy the pictures.
So that's pretty much it really. We'll um, just go off and have a look at the finished tank a few laps of honour on the turntable from a couple of different angles. But uh, again, all I can say is a really great kit to build. Very relaxing. Uh, just perfect after building on that 170 second scale stuff because uh, all the parts felt really big and made me think that my eyesight had improved. So that was really good. The next video will be the pimped up Panther with all of the PE, so that won't probably come out as quickly as this one did. I'm already somewhat apprehensive when I had a closer look at all the PE. Very small, very fiddly, and will test me, but it will come out, and uh, looking forward to doing the direct comparison. Okay guys, so once again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like if you liked, sub if you haven't already, so you can keep up to date with stuff. And uh, as always, you know, I really look forward to your comments and will answer them all. Thanks for your time and goodbye. Click on the link to check out Steve's channel and his great Panther build.